Welcome back to Neverwinter Nights 2 Hard Mode Edition. Let's continue. Something you need? Okay. Me? Last time. I was going to the Anfis clan hold. Brothers struck down by bugbears. If Kalmar is right, we Iron Fist can't afford to lose any more of our clan. If I had been leading this expedition, we wouldn't have been caught by surprise by the bugbears. I can promise you that. You're here now. You can compete, com complete their mission and help your clan. There is that! I'll not let my people down! Ha! He died in battle! I dishonor his memory with all this hand-wringing! Look! Another dwarf! The bait we said has drawn more, as we hoped. You'll all pay for his death, for Iron Fist! Okay... Following ogre lover. I can do that. Give me stitch. Let me go. Let's 
go in the middle of them. And cast Firebus. to use all this ammo before I become a sacred fist because when you become a sacred fist you get a minus 8 attack I think for every weapon you will because a sacred vow or something going to be tasty treat short one I haven't had dwarf meat in weeks we should roast him blacken his skin until he crunches in our teeth let me out of this cage and I'll break those teeth of yours ha I enjoy listening to your screams when we put you over the fire especially when your insides start to cook maybe you should boil him instead his meat might be a little tough. No, we'd have to keep the pot covered. Can't hear the screaming, it's good that way. Looks like you be dying on an empty stomach, you stupid beast. I'd run if I were you. Ah, more meat. I prefer it when the food comes to us. I think we've had enough of this one. And this. Nice work. We should have been able to get out of this cage before you kill them. Hey, to miss a good fight. Are you alright? Nothing serious, just a few bruises. Are the rest of my clansmen safe? They're fine. Can you make it out of 
out here on your own. Don't worry about me. Only reason I'm here is I let myself get captured. Give my brother time to make his escape. Let me open this lock and you, you're free to go. Thanks again for me and all my clan. If you need home, a home, you always have one with the iron fist. I am honored. Farewell. Again, influence. Quite an honor he gave you. Well, that's Iron Fist hospitality and gratitude for you. It's almost legendary. Good to see one of the Iron Fists again. I've been away for more for a while. Let's move on. We have a lot to go to cover. Alright. There's, there's more bugbears waiting to answer for what they've done up ahead. I'm doing a lot of damage with my fist, this load but I will do a, a lot more. level up a few times. Nothing here. Why is Nishka? Nishka, follow me. stuck on things. I believe so. Come on, Ishka. Okay. Now we can continue. Switch to a sling. Shoot them down.
Save me a bit. Oh, hours. Send out another search party. Make sure you find every one of those dwarves. Maybe we'll find orcs too. We're getting tired of having to avoid them gone. We already told you, leave the orcs be. Let them and the humans kill each other. Go find the sneaking dwarves. I must let my brother know they are here. Bah! Seems we're not as well hidden as we thought. Destroy these intruders. Find the rest. maybe to open defense I think skill mastery slippery mind I give her a poor invasion let's see what recommended yeah poor invasion yes Kelgar nothing special okay well now, what do you want? Strange part. of experience.
nothing. Nothing's here. Let's cast bless and a. Everyone, follow me to your weapons and don't let up. Attack! Behind door number two. Bit of experience. This load is a bit of a strain. Armor of plus two. How can I help? Let's see. This is best plan. Six. This is better. Step with me. Come on. And Follow along. This. this load is a bit of a strain. Okay. Books of tumbling. A greater tumbling. Let's put up the sun song. Let's give everyone that. follow me. This should be interesting. Let's just sit this one out and see what happens. Hide. Find a place to hide. We already agreed, Pastak. We split the gold evenly. I told the most. I should get most of the gold. We most of the gold. Two of the dwarves, Pastak. And you killed one. So I share most of the gold with Morgum. Then if I kill you, I'll take your share. Do it. We don't need Pashtok. Pashtok. No, Pashtok's share is mine. <laughs> uh, stupid bugbills. We split the gold evenly. Man, attack. I take all the gold. Wow, a lot of gold. Magbell's task. Climbing Sonic Sonic damage. Mm, no 
nothing in here. this anyone know how, it, how this works doesn't look like anything dwarves would have created too complicated oh hold on a moment I remember hearing about something like this I think so what does he do well you see that lever it's connected to the grommet underneath the casing which connects to that gear over there go on and that gear then connects to the widget you see tucked in the corner there. So that connects to the sprocket over there. Which finally <laughs> leads to the underslung ratchety cog. Look at and Kelga. there you have it. And the ratchety cog does what? Oh, why it opens the door. That does it. We bury the gnome here, alive. The problem with this device though is, well... Well, it doesn't work. Maybe this part I found belongs to it. Ah, of course! I'll have this working in just a moment. There we are. Uh, might want to stand back just in case. Uh, good, good. Now I'm pulling the lever. My, that worked better than I thought. Was worried the whole thing was actually some kind of death trap. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Let's see what's behind it. Oh, yes. Why, thank you. And yes, let's see what it was protecting. Maybe something even more complicated. Got influence with Gnomna. Gnomna. Okay. Let's cast Bless Eight and Eight. Oh, yes. Well, now. So, you killed my brother. Good. Now I don't have to share with him. Kill them. We'll find the other dwarf after we we'll fool him. Let me for brain. Let's go to the cool. Kill him quick enough. I was going to do improve knockdown. Okay. This is a range of plus two protection. Let's yes. give it to Nishka. Very nice. Well now. And let's what do you want? Long bow. Okay. Some gold. And a box. But before we go Check on the box. No, that's all. Gonglets. I don't believe it. Our clan thought they had been last forever. What are they? My clan history may not be what it should, but I know what the, the, these are. The gonglets of Iron Fist, held by the fa fi first of our kings. 
Torim Arnfist, our last great king, was said to have warned them when our homeland fell to the Orcs. But that would mean this clanhold is. This must be our cl first clanhold, the halls where Torim made his final stand. If I had only known this place was here, that these were here. What do the ga ganglets do? Anyone who wears them gains the strength of 10, maybe 20. It's how the clan earned the name Iron Fist. With this, you could probably punch through stone wall. I begin to see where you get your obsession with monks from. And that's just the beginning. It said that if they were also with the hammer of Iron Fist, you would f fell dragons with one blow. That's certainly, po certainly powerful. It must be destiny that I found them. It must mean that the hour of his clan can claim a home. That would be a great day. And to think I would never have come here, met my brother, if you don't, had not brought me here to this mountain. Here, you should take the gang that's Belvoir. You performed a great service for me and my clan. You keep it. It belongs to an iron fist. Four infants. I thank you. I'm far from a king, but it means a lot to me you feel I'm worthy enough to wear them. We'd best be moving on. It looks like the rest of this place was collapsed. We could report back to Kolmar and his scouts tell them what we found. Kolmar will want to know what we found. Let's go back to him. And of course I'm gonna keep these gloves, because they're very powerful. Look at these gloves. Plus one attack. Plus... Bonus damage 1d8, plus against giants. Damage bonus 1d4, bludgeoning. Enchantment plus free strength. Very powerful. If you have not entered the clan hold, then you have no business with us. We explored the stronger, but it collapses. No way for <sighs> the rock in this region has always proven difficult to carve, and it's not one for keeping its shape without a good hammer disciplining it. We'll have to find another way then. There's other entrances we might be able to uncover. But we found something else. Look at this, Kalmar. What do you see? It's a pair of gauntlets, Kelgar. Well crafted, to be sure. And they have the mark of by Clan Geddon's hammer. Are my eyes blinded? Are those the gauntlets of Iron Fist? The same. Yep. Who knows what other treasures are buried deep in the clan hold, Kalmar? But if we found these after a quick search, well, who knows? Even the rest of it might be down there. You found a relic, Kelgar. Part of our history. I didn't do it. You have my friend here to thank. And we never would have known this place to be here if you hadn't been here before us, Kalmar. And the gauntlets, well, they should rest with the clan, I think. No, Kelgar. If you two found them, then they were meant to be held by you both, for a time. When your journey is done, perhaps you shall return them to us. Are you good to keep traveling these mountains? If you like, I could... Our wounds have healed. And you've already given us enough aid. Perhaps we were too quick to judge your allies, Kelgar. The Iron Fist clan is in your debt. This I swear to you in stone and steel. Such a debt shall not be forgotten in the days to come. And Kelgar, if your path lies with this one, so be it. But the clan shall await your return. It shall not be long, I think, Kalmar. But someone needs to watch out for this little one, or else he'll be lying in a grave. I think I'm the one watching you. 
Very well, Kelgar. May stone shield you from the sky and ale be always at your hand. But not too much ale. You know how you get after the Twelfth Tankard. Well, that was a chance encounter. And a chance to do some good, I think. The Iron Fists have had rough times these past few years. So, are we ready to crack some more skulls? Let's go. Okay. Now I've got this glove. Very nice. Let's talk to Kelga. Something you need? I, want, I wanted to talk to you about becoming a monk. Ah, what about it? Kelga, I think you should give up becoming a monk. Kelga, to learn how to fight something. To learn huh? how to fight. What? You like switching words around? No, it makes that. no sense. It's what? Well. It just seems like dodging a fight is... Maybe you're right. Hmm. It's just an odd thought to get one's arm around and choke. You know? All right. Maybe by not fighting and being more open to what's going on in the skull before cracking it, maybe there's some truth in there. Somewhere. I'll try it. But I warn you, if I don't like it, I'm going back to learning the traditional way. Excellent. All right. Go on and ask them. I want to ask you about... Huh? Like who? You seem more well disposed to Nishka than before, even... Elenito and Well, that frail lass is one of the copper elves. Wood elves. They're a stone's throw more tolerable than some of the other kin. But she's still an elf. Their kind stood with the shield dwarves in the north, so I'll stand by her if need be. She needs to comb her hair, though. And put a little meat on that slim belly of hers. Think she was trying to be a tavern dancer with a belly like that? Huh, makes my stomach churn. It might be crazy, but it may qualify as meeting the trial of the even handed the tear monks put before you. Huh? Not a bad idea. Okay. Got a little progress. Let's go to Neverwinter Merchant Quarters. Okay. Let's Go we'll talk to the cobalt. How can I help? Yeah. This load is a bit of a strain. Me? I believe so. Ah, a talking kobold with a store. You know, I had heard about the uh, talking kobold in Waterdeep, but I hadn't put much stock in it. Though it was one of those wild human stories, you know how humans are. Stories, Dickin likes stories, epic tales about kobolds. Dickin even wired a few of these until fingers of order. Wait, one big hairy moment. You're the one who wrote the tale of the Undertide? Dickin cannot lie, Dickin wrote it. All volumes cover to cover, plus platinum in valid edition, and the plague diamond in trusted completion. Oh well, I read the version where all the da and the a uh, were missing, couldn't make sense of it, but it was a fascinating read, even about the dragon urine. 
you can find it hard to find good proofreader and tell things like it keep starting and restarting all time difficult to keep place and flow but P was true but you're about to, you think, right? by the gods, this is inspiring I'm so happy to be able to talk to you Dicking, Dicking happy to speak with a gnome too Dicking may need to go back to selling trading center if right go now, let it go no, 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 not yet why we barely began speaking, I say. Do you know any gnome songs? I do. I so rarely meet a fellow musician and writer. Dickin know one gnome song. But uh, Dickin throat dry. Let it go now. This should be good. But let me move over here. Just off to out of French. No, please, I would love to hear it. They can not write this one, but they can sing it anyway. Free thought. <coughs> I like gnomes so dumb and fat, fat and dumb. In barrels like moles, shoot them full of arrows, put them on a stick. That's why I like gnomes. Oh well, just hearing that gives me the shivers. I'll say, that made my tail curl. I say, this is genius, the tone, the tempo. You can almost feel the angst and pain of the gnomes as they fla fill with arrows and put on sticks. And the film of the piece, now that's a tragedy, in the deepest, most primal form. And the climax, the uplifting portion where the affirmation of liking norms is confirmed. And then, brought full of circle with the physical and emotional double meaning of them, being in the mind and in the stomach, amazing. I said traveling to never interview, all has really been broadening my horizons. Who who would have thought I'd get to meet a cobbled author and playwright? Well, I'm glad you like it. Maybe you could compose a song. Oh, I sir. So glad to have heard that. And I have to thank you for bringing me. Okay, let's... Oh, yes. Do inspire competence. I believe so. Now let's... Sell. What you have for sale? Let's sell this and this and this and this and this and this. And this. And this. Let's see if we have something good. Shine plus one natural armor. Let's buy this. Me? More armor. Okay. Well. Vision quest, uh, justice or the stone. Let's go to the Temple of Tear. Because I've got some progress on the trials. Welcome, you seek an audience? Kagar has met one of the trials we put before him. Indeed, then let him speak and we shall see all for ourselves. I think he faced the trial of the main. It's true, met some of my clan in all that well, made me realize what turning away from my blood has done. But I was able to put things to right, help them out, and I think I was able to heal the wounds. I hear it in your voice. You have faced the trial of the maimed. Well done. It is not an easy thing for, for most to see. Your actions do not meet the trials, Kaga, or the kind of things, but I ask you were soon enough. Kaga met another one of your trials. Indeed. He learned to judge other on their action. Well, there was a time when I was quick to judge others based on what the little I've heard. But traveling with 
even the worst, slimiest, smelliest of tiefling and no one are tree worshippers of that taught me some of them are all right. So who knows, maybe they all worth a closer look, instead of lumping them all together and passing judgment on the whole bunch of those good, good, good for nothing. Very well, seeing the world with such eyes means the tribes are even handed, we are pleased. Your actions do not meet the trials, oh, okay. What a deep only of trial of justice and let's go to Captain Brillain. about third of the way to level 8 Let's talk to her Welcome back, Lieutenant. Do you have anything to report? I found the emissary at Old well, and he's safely in Nevoin. You have done well, Lieutenant. I knew my faith was not misplaced. You are to be commended for your efforts on Neverwinter's behalf. Your efforts at the docks have greatly improved the position of the Watch. But it has also drawn new predators. Predators from Luskin. We can came across... We ran across some Luskins in the docks already. Luskin is one of our less... benevolent neighbors. We have had troubles with them in the past. <laughs> a war, actually. No need to hedge words when it comes to their kind. Now those Luskin cowards are attempting to take advantage of your success at the docks to put spies in our midst. We have caught word that one of their agents is attempting to enter port on board a merchant vessel from Luskin. A vessel called the Sea Ghost. We need you to go to the docks, board the Sea Ghost and stop the Luskins. Return here when you have accomplished your mission. Okay. Should be easy enough. But better hurry, the ship's just pulled into port way too long and most of the last one will have slipped off the ship by the time you get there. Why is the last one trying to sleep more spies in? The last one's causing trouble in the blood. I wouldn't be even surprised if they were involved with problems in Black Lake. Get down to the docks. Okay. Let's save and we will and that's enough for now. See you in the next one. Bye bye.